a man named Joseph Brooks. He is interested in buying some slaves at Maori Farm, especially a woman named Emma Ann and her daughter, daughter Collie. But he is no slave trader, and he has a remarkable story to tell. Though he has passed for a white man, he is the son of the enslaved woman, Emma Ann, and he has a plan to buy his mother and his sister to give them freedom. But all is not happy. Charles Mallory suspects that the young John Taylor knows something about the local slave's plan for escaping. And he tells John's mother, Hattie, he will beat the truth out of that war. Trying to act real tough, I'll have Cain to whip you too. You'll be sorry if you do. Oh, I know you're threatening me. Touch my boy and see. Outraged at the whipping of John Taylor, the enslaved people at the Mallory Farm resolve to run away. Meanwhile, their master has learned Townsend, Butler, and Mallory have fled to Fort Monroe. He has rushed to his friend, John Carey, asking him to retrieve them. But the U.S. Army commander at the fort, General Benjamin Butler, has no intention of returning the three men to help the enemy build fortifications. And he has a clever answer ready for the major. So, Major Carey, what business do you have with me? The three Negroes that fled to your fort belong to my friend, Colonel Charles K. Mallory. And as his representative, I demand that you release them to my custody as you are bound by the Fugitive Slave Act. <laughs> Sir, please let me enlighten you as to my federal constituted law. Now. Virginia now claims that she is no longer a part of the United States. And I am under no constitutional obligation to a foreign country, which Virginia now claims to be. And she must reckon it as one of the infelicities of her position, that insofar as that at least, she is taken at her word. Still, these slaves are Charles Mallory's property and you must return them. You uh, call these men property. Well, the rules of war state that I am entitled to seize property which is being used by the enemy against me, as these three men are building your fortifications. And therefore, I shall seize them as contraband of war. <laughs> 